After putting in the effort to explore Venus, scientists were met with a harsh reality beyond their worst nightmares. The planet's environment is extremely hostile, with temperatures reaching a scorching 900 degrees Fahrenheit and thick clouds of sulfuric acid. However, recent findings have left scientists wondering if there could be something more to this seemingly uninhabitable planet. In fact, a recent chilling discovery on Venus has altered our understanding of history forever. However, before we begin our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Now let's get started. Once a fascinating and mysterious planet, Venus has become a dangerous place that seriously threatens our safety. Recently, scientists shockingly discovered an unknown dark substance on Venus, leaving everyone on edge. Researchers are working tirelessly to identify this strange material, which is causing great concern. Venus, Earth's sister planet, has been an object of fascination and study for years. Numerous spacecraft have been sent to explore its atmosphere and geology, but nobody could have predicted this recent discovery. The European Space Agency's Venus monitoring camera first detected the dark material, and experts are struggling to explain its origins or composition. Some speculate that it could be volcanic ash or an entirely new form of microscopic life. The possibility that this substance could represent a never-before-seen life form is causing widespread fear. We are forced to confront the reality that we may not be alone in the universe, but this isn't just any kind of extraterrestrial life. The dark material could be a rapidly spreading, infectious organism that endangers the lives of billions. The dark material found on Venus is potentially dangerous for us on Earth because it could be a rapidly spreading, contagious organism that poses a threat to billions of lives. While Venus may be an intriguing planet in our solar system, its harsh environment makes it a dangerous place for humans. As the second planet from the Sun and located between Mercury and Earth, Venus has long been referred to as our sister planet due to its similar size and composition. Its unique location has played a crucial role in its formation and evolution, making it a fascinating subject for study and exploration. Over the years, numerous spacecraft have been sent to Venus, including those from the Soviet Union. Their missions were focused on studying the planet's atmosphere, surface, and geology. The program began in the 1960s with the launch of the Venera 1 spacecraft, which unfortunately malfunctioned and failed to reach Venus. However, subsequent missions proved to be more successful. Venera 3, launched in 1965, became the first spacecraft to land on another planet, although its parachute system malfunctioned, causing it to crash onto the planet's surface. The Soviet Union continued to send missions to Venus throughout the 1960s and 70s, with Venera 7 becoming the first spacecraft to successfully land on the planet's surface and transmit data back to Earth. The mission provided valuable information about the planet's atmosphere and surface conditions before being destroyed by the harsh environment. The Soviet Union's Venus Exploration Program provided valuable scientific data about Venus through subsequent missions such as Venera 8, 9, and 10, which collected important measurements of atmospheric composition and pressure, temperature, and radiation levels. Venera 9 and 10 made history in 1975 by capturing the first images of the planet's rugged, heavily cratered terrain. The program's final mission, Venera 15 and 16, was launched in 1983 and equipped with advanced radar imaging systems that allowed for unprecedented detail in mapping the planet's surface. This mission revealed that Venus's surface is dominated by volcanic activity, with vast plains of hardened lava covering much of the planet's surface. In 2017, an unknown dark material was discovered on Venus using data from the Venus Monitoring Camera, or the VMC, which is part of the European Space Agency's Venus Express mission. This high-resolution camera captured detailed images of the Venusian surface and atmosphere, providing valuable insights into the planet's geological features and atmospheric conditions. During one of its observations, the Venus Monitoring Camera, or the VMC, detected an unusual dark patch on the surface of Venus. Further analysis revealed that the dark material covers at least 100 square kilometers and is located in the highlands of Venus near the equator. 
The material is composed of particles that are roughly 1 to 2 micrometers in size and appears to be thickest near the centers of large craters on the surface. Despite extensive research, the origin and composition of the dark material remain unknown, with scientists proposing several theories to explain it. One possibility is that the material is a type of iron compound, such as magnetite, which is known to absorb light and heat up in sunlight. Another theory suggests that the material is volcanic ash or dust altered by the harsh Venusian environment. Finally, some researchers speculate that the dark material could be a form of microbial life capable of absorbing sunlight and using it as an energy source. While this theory is highly controversial and has yet to be proven, it cannot be entirely ruled out. The details that make up the dark material have been suggested to be ferric chloride, allotropes of sulfur, desulfur dioxide, and more, but none of these satisfactorily explain their formation and light-absorbing properties. Scientists have long speculated about the possibility of microbial life on Venus, and some have even suggested that the dark patches in the planet's atmosphere could be evidence of microscopic life. Venus, also known as Earth's enigmatic sister, is the second planet from the Sun and is situated between Mercury and Earth. Despite being similar in size and mass to Earth, Venus boasts unique characteristics that distinguish it from our home planet. The planet's atmosphere is primarily composed of carbon dioxide, with small amounts of nitrogen and sulfur dioxide. The atmosphere is incredibly dense, creating an intense greenhouse effect that traps heat and causes Venus to be the hottest planet in our solar system. With an average surface temperature of around 900 degrees Fahrenheit or 475 degrees Celsius, Venus is even hotter than Mercury, which is closer to the Sun. Additionally, Venus rotates very slowly, taking 243 Earth days to complete one rotation on its axis. This means Venus has a day longer than its year, which lasts 225 Earth days. Furthermore, Venus rotates in the opposite direction to most other planets in the solar system, known as retrograde rotation. One of the most striking characteristics of Venus is its thick cloud cover, which is made up of sulfuric acid droplets. These clouds are so dense that they reflect about 75% of the sunlight that reaches the planet, creating a bright, glowing appearance from Earth. However, beneath this beautiful facade lies a surface marked by volcanic activity with large shield volcanoes and vast lava plains. The terrain of Venus is varied with lowland plains, highland regions, and mountain ranges. The highest peak on Venus is Maxwell Montes, which reaches a height of about 7 miles or 11 kilometers. Venus has the most volcanoes of any planet in the solar system, with over 1,600 major volcanic structures and countless smaller ones. These volcanoes come in various forms, including shield volcanoes, pancake domes, and coronae. The volcanic activity on Venus is primarily basaltic in nature, similar to the volcanic activity found on the Earth's oceanic crust and in regions like Hawaii. Basaltic lava, rich in iron and magnesium, creates vast lava plains covering about 85% of the Venusian surface. The smooth plains, known as planet, are relatively young in geological terms, suggesting that volcanic activity has played a crucial role in resurfacing the planet. However, the volcanoes on Venus differ in some aspects from those on Earth due to the planet's thick atmosphere and high surface pressure. For example, pancake domes are thought to be the result of highly viscous lava interacting with the planet's dense atmosphere. In recent years, the planet Venus has caught the attention of many, including tech mogul Elon Musk. Despite its extreme environment and lack of habitable conditions, Musk has suggested that humans could potentially live on Venus in the future. He noted that the planet's thick atmosphere could be utilized to create a floating habitat for humans and the planet's proximity to Earth and similar gravity make it a potentially more viable option than Mars. Venus is also home to a unique landscape with vast volcanic activity shaping its surface and atmosphere. With ongoing research and exploration, scientists hope to continue unraveling the mysteries of Earth's mysterious sister planet. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more updates.